I want to bring in now Brian Bender, advisor to Americans for Safe Aerospace. That is the organization of key witness Ryan Graves from yesterday's hearing. Brian, also former na senior national correspondent for Politico. Brian, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So, Brian, I, I know you've spoken with Ryan since his testimony. Can you share with us how he's feeling and what he and the organization is hoping for next? Well, I think overall, our takeaway was that this was a very sober-minded, bipartisan effort to really get to the bottom of these, you know, very, you know, unopen questions about whether the government does know more about these uh, repeated sightings of craft that's, you know, in some cases seem to defy all the laws of aerodynamics as we know them. And, you know, I think Americans for Safe Aerospace, um, which is a military pilot-led organization, really comes at this from the perspective that whatever your point of view might be on what these things are and who they belong to, I think we can all agree that if there are things in our sovereign airspace that we don't know what they are or who they belong to, we should find out. Um, they could potentially be a national security threat for one and a safety threat to the public that's flying back and forth all over the country all the time, um, 24 hours a day. And so uh, Ryan Graves, uh, one of the testa testifiers yesterday who runs um, Americans for Safe Airspace, his, his pitch to the committee was really, you know, there are reports like these from military and commercial pilots all the time, and the government just is not doing enough to, A, make sure that these get reported, in other words, lifting the stigma so that pilots feel comfortable to come forward, but then also collating that data, providing it to Congress, and ultimately to the American public. And obviously, the, the discussion about you know, secret government programs involving UO, UFOs, that's a whole nother subject. Um, and one that we as an organization are trying to uh, sort of be agnostic about. In other words, our position is let people come forward, let whistleblowers come forward like David Grouch did yesterday, tell their story, provide what they know to Congress, um, and not fear that they're going to, you know, be punished, that there's going to be retribution, and let's, you know, let the facts fall where they may. Yeah, certainly. And I do want to play sound from Representative Tim Burchett, uh, who was on Elizabeth Vargas reports here on News Nation last night. Let's listen quickly together. We're told by pilots time and time again that they'll destroy the evidence on the on the, the footage by just hitting this, hitting it with their knee, the, the camera apparatus, so that it destroys it because, in fact, when they get back to the base, They'll be pulled off the flight line. They'll have, a, they'll have a blemish on their record, and they'll be interrogated for eight hours. So is this potential destruction of UFO footage by pilots something you're aware of, something you've heard of? And what can Congress do to prevent this? Well, I mean, that particular claim I have not heard directly. Um, you, know, I, you know, I'm sure it's possible that some pilots have done that, but... Um, whether or not that's a sort of widespread phenomenon or widespread practice, I'm just not aware of that. But I do think it gets to this broader point of reporting and not just uh, making pilots feel like they can come forward and not be stigmatized, uh, you know, or, or not get that blemish on their record, but also creating a process at the Defense Department, among commercial airlines, the FAA, for a formal reporting process so that there is, you know, the, you know, the government has regulations and reporting processes for just about everything. They don't have one for this. And, you know, what we're advocating is, you know, there needs to be some process, uh, a formalized process so that pilots, if they do see things they can't explain, um, or, you know, they feel like they're coming too close to things that are flying in their airspace, they should be able to file a report that gets collated with all the other reports and put in a centralized place where it can be studied and analyzed and and you know hopefully answers and patterns can be found because yeah. and, you know, and, not, and without recrimination and not, I don't mean to interrupt but without recrimination right and and the worry about having a blemish on your record as well I mean Brian I wish we had more time I, I truly appreciate it though Brian Bender thank you so much for joining us happy to do it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.